Thanks. Welcome back to Newsmakers on the panel this week. Marg Foster, John McKenzie, they're an unruly bunch, and Cheryl Sutherland. Um, now, the rugby. Do we talk about it? Of course we do. In fact, for many New Zealanders, they haven't been talking about anything else this week. The armchair generals have been on overdrive since the All Blacks uh, notched up back-to-back -back defeats against the box. And we've been putting the boot into the All Blacks. Do they deserve to have the boot put into them, Mr McKenzie? No. Why? No, they don't. Um, I don't... I think um, what concerns me more than the boot going into the All Blacks at the moment is the issue of the dwindling support for the, probably the game as well. And it's because that, they can't win, John. Yes, but I still think it goes one step deeper than that in that the New Zealand Rugby Football Union, rather than looking at the players, need to look at the product that they're putting on the field. Yeah. And if they're an entertainment product, and that every, all the bells and whistles around that entertainment product aren't what they should be. So when people are spending their disposable money to go to see them, uh, they need to be getting a good product. And I guess part of that, you could say, is their performance on the field. But at the end of the day, um, they're, they're professional. I guess you could say the other side of it. Yes, they're professionals. They're getting paid to play. So if they're not up to it, we get in. Nick is a bit of a twist as, yeah. a, as a country. But I think as a country, we need to grow up a little bit and, and get over it. And it is just a game, but a game that they're paid to play. But our whole national psyche and, 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 and country... Personality should not hinge on whether we win an, or lose an all black game, but it still does. I would say, yeah. have we grown up and moved beyond it yet? And it is a game that they're paid to play. Sure. They should play it a wee bit better at times at the moment. But. Yeah. Mark, can I just ask you a couple of quick questions? The fact that the All Blacks lost in such a fumbling, bumbling way, you know, basic ball skills just gone, did you find that quite sad? I just found it to be a little bit. Um I wouldn't say unusual because I've probably been in a situation where I've coached a team where, you know, things just didn't go right. Mm. And now, regardless of what types of motivation that you use before a game, mm. um, it depends on what um, headspace the, the athletes are in when they go onto the field uh, or onto the netball court. Um, for me, it was all a, about the personal errors that they that they did the, do. So obviously, the management will probably be looking at the um, the motivation of. You know what's happening in the you know athletes before they go onto the field, sure. and they might not have got it right there. But I tell you what, it'd be such great learnings from what, what they will gain from that, like where people are at. Yeah. Very quick questions <clears throat> since you mentioned management. When it comes to Mrs. Henry Hanson and Smith, a lot of the opprobrium has been directed at them. A lot of people want them sacked. Is that misdirected? That kind of rhetoric? Absolutely. Okay. I, I totally agree. Yeah. I, I mean that. Absolutely no way, and I know that you know. Obviously, with Steve being here in, in Canterbury as well, mm. being the front line, I mean that Murray Deeker, my gosh, is I, I don't I choose to turn off that radio, but you know it's just it's just appalling, really. These these guys are the best for the job, yep. and the athletes that we've got, um, unfortunately, unfortunately, they actually are the best in the country. Tell me who else is actually missing from that team? All right. Just before we come to Heroes and Villains of the Week, I have a question for Ms Sutherland. Mm -hmm. Will the All Blacks win the 2011 Rugby World Cup? I didn't know they were playing, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl. Lovely. I'm going to convert her into a rugby player. Oh, it'll a take a bit of work. Sorry, not a player. Yeah. A few bottles of wine, mate. <laughs> I can assure you, you're going to get up. People play quite close to home. That's true. Now, we've got <laughs> 60 seconds in totality for Heroes and Villains, Goodies and Baddies of the Week. Um, anyone you wish to mention, Ms Foster? Well, I just read in the paper about New Zealand men being much better to marry than yes. Australian men. So I'm saying to all the New Zealand men out there, well done. OK. Mr McKenzie. God bless you. Um, <laughs> I, He's uh, not married, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> that's a whole other subject we could... Um, hero, I, I've really struggled to find a hero, Mike. That's right. I've really struggled to find a hero. Villain, Ten I think... Ten seconds. It's, yep. uh, it's between the guys down at Tamuka who ripped the bloody... Oh, the birds. ...the pieces and um, oh. our friend uh, Tato Philip Field. I'm oh, sorry. Five seconds, Cheryl. Anyone to mention? Um, yes, indeed. Sorry. Dr Liz Gordon, who wrote this morning a very sensible, rational article about why Aorangi yes. School should be... Um, the seven reasons. Exactly. Yes. Brilliant. And I hope the Minister of Education actually takes some notice. Lovely. Last week's question in the Newsmakers poll, do you support Minister Paula Bennett's handling of the DPB training incentive allowance row? 71% of you said yes, 29% no, the prize winner, Jay Symes. This week's question, should the coaching staff 
take the blame for the All Blacks' poor performance. Yes or no, Murray Deeker, you're not allowed to vote. Email newsmakers at ctv.co.nz, vote on the web, mikeyardley.com, or post uh, your vote to PO Box 1100 Christchurch. Do so, and you'll be into one of the very nice treats, the Cafe Lafare Coffee and the Michael Jackson tribute book, Life of a Legend. Good luck. Thank you very much to Cheryl, Marg and John. Have a very nice weekend. No rugby this weekend of the All Blacks variety, so we can't lose. Take care. Good night.